And of course, beyond the enterprise, there's nowhere where high performance is more important than, of course, in high performance computing. Sort of the name defines the importance of performance. And in high performance computing, those benchmark results, those world records, uh, translate into real world performance for the scientists and the engineers, the product designers and the researchers that need to use high performance clusters of systems to design new products and to do scientific research. And across the board, you will see upstairs in the transformation zone, you will see from our partners over the, the next days, weeks and months, Example after example in the real world, running real codes, running real applications, that second gen Epic delivers incredible performance to speed up research, to enable better product design, to truly be disruptive. And that's why you see so much interest in the second generation Epic in Rome, and why we've already notched multiple HPC design wins even before we began production. And so, to tell you a little bit more about the reaction and the excitement in the HPC community, there's no person better than the leader, longtime leader in HPC, which is Cray. And so, I'd like to invite Pete Angaro, the CEO of Cray, to the stage. Hey, Forrest. Hey, Pete. Hey, Pete, thanks very much for coming. We really appreciate you being here. And uh, we, more importantly, we really appreciate the partnership that we've had uh, between AMD for Cray and Cray for many years, and most notably in the last few years. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, it's Forrest. It's been fantastic. Now, Pete, I know that, that Cray sees the, the landscape in traditional HPC market really changing and the applicability really going beyond. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. You know. At Cray, what we see coming is a whole new era of computing, uh, an era being driven by macro trends like digital transformation and the explosion of data that's swamping almost everybody's data center today, uh, and a, a cloud-enabled open source software ecosystem that's really accelerating the pace of change. And, and so as we talk with our customers, as I know you guys do too, um, it's really about the questions that they're trying to ask are changing, and the workloads are changing, and the whole industry is changing, and it's, it's time for the data center infrastructure to start to change. Could not, could not agree. Time for change. Could not agree with you more. That's a big reason that we created Epic. Yeah. Um, so, you know, how are you approaching this opportunity? How are you realizing that change? Well, you know, about five years ago, we started a process and it, really a journey at Cray to really start to rethink the data center and to really rethink about how we're going to build and architect a machine for the future. And, and that really has come together in what we call Shasta, which is an architecture that's built for the next 10, dec 10 years of processor and accelerator architectures uh, going forward. So we're pretty excited about pulling all of that together. From the ground up, Shasta has been built as a data-centric architecture, really thinking about these workloads, thinking about the convergence of the applications from IoT to artificial intelligence and analytics and modeling and simulation and bringing those all together on a single system, bringing those all together in a single workflow uh, and doing it at unprecedented scale and often in real time, as people need to do today. Yeah, and you, you guys have got a, quite a few innovations in there. I know you, you've got a new fabric as well powering this. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think one of the big things that we've seen uh, is really a need to pull all of this together, both from a software perspective and a fabric perspective and bringing that together in the system. On the software side, we've really worked toward uh, a cloud-enabled software environment, so providing the flexibility uh, of the cloud and the performance that you'd expect in a Cray supercomputer and bringing that all together in one system. And as you mentioned, that just goes right now down to the fabric and the slingshot. fabric that connects yeah. it all together, which is yeah. Slingshot. Uh, Slingshot's a really amazing uh, rethinking of that fabric and how we build this fabric, not just for high performance computing, but for these new workloads like analytics and AI and what the capabilities that we need there. For instance, things like um, 
uh, congestion management as well as uh, really looking at the network and making sure that all of the applications can complete at scale, unprecedented scale, on time, as fast as humanly possible. And you're right, we call that slingshot. It's a fantastic, fantastic design. So I think you know, you're already seeing some pretty good traction and you got some pretty significant wins with, uh, with uh, uh, Shasta already. Yeah, absolutely, Forrest. We've uh, had incredible momentum. You know, about a year ago, we introduced Epic to the Cray lineup. And uh, since then, uh, we're starting to approach about a billion dollars in new bookings on the Epic line, which is super exciting for Cray. Show me the money. Yeah. The machine that you have up here is the uh, kind of granddaddy of it all, Frontier, uh, which is a system that uh, we got to stand together with you and Lisa and Mark. Uh, together with the Secretary of Energy in Oak Ridge National Laboratory uh, and talk about the next generation of computing, an exascale computer. This system has more than, is going to operate at more than 1.5 quintillion operations per second. And just to give you a perspective, if you take the 100 fastest supercomputers in the world today and combine those all together, Frontier will be faster than all of those based on Cray and Epic. That's incredible. That is truly an amazing leap forward. Yeah. So you've got, now you've got some other wins. It's not just as big and as exciting as Frontier is. You've got some other great wins as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, just across the bay from us, we have NERSC, uh, the National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center, uh, who's getting a brand new Cray Shasta system with AMD EPIC processors to support their 7,000 scientists that they have to support across a broad range of applications and workflows and si solving some of the most complex scientific challenges on the planet. And we also just announced at the Department of Defense their high performance computing modernization program. We're, we're going to install two uh, epic based supercomputers with the Department of Defense. But it's not just all about the research laboratories. We're also doing the same thing in going after commercial uh, applications that are very challenging. You know, Rich Energy Haas One uh, F1 racing team, the guys that are trying to build the fastest and most fuel efficient cars on the planet, uh, are using a Cray supercomputer with Epic processors uh, as we go together. And, uh, and really, they've seen 45% performance improvement on the previous generation no, of fantastic. Epic overall. That's fantastic. Yeah, that was with first generation, they'll do yeah. even more with second. But I know you've got one more win to talk about. Today. Yeah, we're super excited to be here today and announce a brand new win for us that we're just announcing today with the Air Force Weather Agency. Uh, they selected a Cray uh, supercomputer with Roam processors uh, to do weather forecasts, really high fidelity weather forecasts for the US military operations around the world. Uh, this is really exciting for us because this is uh, the first Shasta that's going to be delivered into the weather segment. It's a brand new customer for us overall. And Forrest, as you know, weather is one of the most challenging workflows on the planet, and the high memory bandwidth of Epic is really important for that. No, no, it's fant fantastic. Some great wins together. And then I think we've got, we've got one more win to talk about here today. We've got one more. Uh, so one of the things that uh, as we really think about delivering our systems to more and more customers across every data center, I'm just incredibly honored uh, to introduce Matt Link, who's the Vice President of Research Technologies at Indiana University, uh, who will be the first university customer uh, to get a Shasta machine with Epic. And let's uh, welcome Matt onto the stage. Absolutely. Hey, Matt. Hi, Horst. Thank you. Hey, Matt, thanks for coming. Thank really you. appreciate you being here today. Thanks for having me, and thanks for you guys taking a little slice of your life to spend with me in Indiana University today. Appreciate it. Hey, so tell us more about why did Indiana University choose Cray and AMD? So our relationship with Cray and AMD, and we've got a long relationship, has been one of the best experiences we've had in the HPC industry. And we take that experience and we couple that with the superior core count, high memory and I.O. bandwidth of the Epic processors, and we are going to enable our researchers to scale their research within a single node and allow them to do more, do it faster, mm -hmm. to really drive towards what my mission is at IU is to 
reduce our researchers time to science time to science i like that so tell, tell us more about the name of the system is uh big red 200 big red 200 it's named after our bicentennial which is this fiscal year uh it's a uh shasta supercomputer with epic processors Excellent. great choice matt <laughs> <laughs> and um there's about 6.7 million people in the state of indiana if every person did a calculation every second my number's not going to be as big as Pete's quintillion number, but every person, every second, it would take them 28 years to do what Big Red 200 will do in one second. <laughs> That's awesome, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell us a little bit about the research that you guys are going to do on the machine. So our research is focused on the grand challenges. It's not just the grand challenges in the state of Indiana, but those facing humanity. Modeling, simulation, AI are critical to IU's grand challenges of precision health, prepared for environmental change, and responding to the addictions crisis. We're also very focused on the exploration and advancement of AI in education, cybersecurity, medicine, and environmental science, and more. You know, and Matt, you were telling me that, that uh, Big Red, first Big Red and now Big Red 200 also, you know, really helps bring grants to the university. It does, and, and, and over the past six years, Big Red 2, which was the pre predecessor to Big Red 200, and, uh, and our HPC environment, our researchers have brought in almost three quarters of a billion dollars in grant dollars to the university, and that really enables us to support and empower them to continue those important initiatives. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Well, Matt, you know, really, really impressive. You know, thank you for, for sharing this with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Matt. Pete, thanks, thanks a lot. Us. Really appreciate it. Take care.